Okay, and we're back again. So if there are any comments or questions, first of all, you can write them uh, in any language that I understand in the chat. <laughs> That's one option. Another option is to ask with your voice or with your voice and uh, video. Um, and if you're interested in doing that, then uh, uh, you go into participants to raise your hand um, and, uh, and then you can, uh, we can have a, a chat of, in voice. Uh, for now, I don't see anybody uh, uh, writing anything yet, but um, uh, I have received a question that we can talk about a little bit and meanwhile, we'll see if you have anything else. Um, somebody asked me, uh, and this is a very, very common occurrence for many, many people. Uh, this is uh, somebody who is doing work through voice dialogue. And uh, the question was uh, something like this. I'm trying to work with my inner critic, which is very active. Um, and I want to be less critical of myself and it isn't working. So this can happen with a critic, but it can happen with many, many other uh, inner voices or parts or selves. Uh, Things like, um, for some people, uh, um, it can be with um, uh, controlling parts, parts that really need to, to be in control all the time. It can be with, uh, um, with critics. It can be actually with any part within us that we feel is kind of kidnapping us or that is... Uh, um, we, we have uh, too much identification with, okay? And we're really in a way trying to balance things so that uh, the critic will be able, for example, to become a good friend for us who, who may be, you know, critical sometimes, but in a way that is useful, in a way that helps us and not in a way that makes us feel stupid or useless or stops us completely in our tracks or, or makes us even want to commit suicide. That happens too. So why does it sometimes not work? You talk with your critic. You talk with uh, opposing selves. You try to look at things from the aware eye. You're, you seem to be doing everything by the book, okay? And for some reason, it's not working. So why could that be? So first of all, sometimes uh, it simply takes time and it's not enough to talk with uh, a certain self only once and you need to do it many, many times sometimes. Uh, so that's a very, very common thing. But another very common thing that I can't tell you how many times I've seen it with my students is that we think that we are talking with a self, let's take again the critic, for example, uh, from the aware I, meaning when we talk with a self from the aware I, it's supposed to be without any criticism whatsoever. Otherwise, it simply doesn't work because the selves need to feel accepted. They need to feel that uh, we uh, understand their point of view and we're not trying to make them go away. So what often happens is that we're not aware that we are trying to make the critic go away or that we would be really, really glad to not have him at all. And the critic feels it, okay? Uh, or we're still identified with some other self that really doesn't like the critic. And this colors our conversation and our work with the critic. And, the, and this critic, this inner self, feels it and does not feel accepted, does not feel uh, wanted, and so it resists. And the work will not work this way. 
So this is really, really the main thing to, to look into if the work with inner selves isn't working is to see if we're really managing to talk to whatever self it is without any criticism or anything that could be viewed as criticism. For example, having this uh, feeling that I wish this was over. I really want to finish working with a critic and move on. You know, even something like that is uh, a kind of criticism. Okay. So um, that's uh, uh, my a partial answer to that question. I see, I see somebody's written something in the chat. So let's see. Um, what you said is really important and relevant for me because I'm at a crossroads. Um, it's really important for me how you, um, how you see the difference between taking responsibility and doing new things uh, and uh, acting irresponsible, ir irresponsibly and jumping into projects or things when we're not yet ready for them. Uh, I'd really like you to talk about signs for being ready to do the next jump. So that's a very good question, of course. Uh, for people who are working with uh, voice dialogue or something similar, um, one of the best ways to, to figure out whether we are really ready for a jump or we need to prepare more or wait a little bit to become more uh, um, ripe, I, I should say, for something, um, is to do something like this. You could say, uh, I'm, I want to hear from each and every part in myself that has something to say about this idea. Let's say the idea is to divorce, or the idea can be to, to uh, change a workplace, or to start a new project, or to buy a house, or whatever. Okay? So I want to hear from any part in me that has something to say. And you can start, for example, with everybody who's against it, or you can start with everybody who's for it. And you can simply make a list of everything that pops to your mind, like reasons to go forward, reasons not to go forward, fears, uh, excitements, uh, anything that comes up for you. And then you start figuring out who said what, or who feels what, or who thinks what. You can also add to this uh, things like uh, beliefs. You know, like uh, um, uh, there could be a belief that's very relevant there to, to figure out, you know, about uh, whether it's possible or impossible. Uh, and in the case uh, you're talking about, then of course you, you especially try to consult with all the parts that think that you're ready and with those parts that think that you're not ready. Now, if you do the work um, enough and uh, uh, manage to really listen to a lot of them, then it's very, very uh, possible that um, you'll find yourself much more in the aware eye in regards to this uh, question. Am I ready or not? Okay. And you'll be much more clear about what everybody inside you is saying. And also you'll be much clearer about, is this decision coming from the aware I, or is it a self in myself that has kidnapped me? For example, it often happens that uh, people suddenly want to divorce, you know, or to marry or to whatever. And it's not really something that they heard a lot of parts about. It's one part or a group of parts 
that are really excited about it or are really angry about the husband or whatever. And they took the wheel of our life. And we need to, to talk to them, to understand what's going on, and then to calmly uh, check it from the aware eye. Now, another thing that uh, I recommend is for those of my students or for people who can do um, uh, shamanic journeying, uh, of course, that's a great question for a shamanic journey. Am I ready for this or not? Show me. Uh, another thing for those people who have guidance. Again, you're the one who's supposed to decide, not your guides, whatever they are. You know, they can be anything. God himself can come. And, and yet, as we saw in the first part, from my point of view at least, the decision must be mine from the aware eye. But if we know how to talk with guides of all sorts uh, and we have a relationship with them and we, we trust them, then we can get sometimes very good advice about all sorts of things, including decisions like that. Okay, So I hope this is helpful. If you have uh, another question in this regard, then uh, let me know. Um, so I'm moving on to the next comment or question. You also were ready to take a risk. And before that, in order to experience the opportunity, the option of growing and believing in yourself, that you can do more than you thought, you had to withdraw and to go inside by not going to the pub with all the others. That's very, very interesting. A very interesting comment and thank you for that too. Um, Yes, it's possible to see it that way, uh, that I needed to be alone. So what does it mean if, if I'm taking your idea, which I think is really, really right here, uh, it means not being too influenced, not only by influencers like the captain, for example, but also... Uh, just being with a lot of people, just living in a way, uh, we're under a constant stream of, of influence. And a lot of it we're not even aware of. It can be uh, collective things like uh, what is possible for a woman or what isn't possible for a woman, just as, as one uh, example, or what is possible for, for a human being or what is right and what is wrong. And it, it really can be so many things um, and this ability to disconnect from it to a certain degree uh, not completely disconnect but to kind of manage as you say to be uh, separate and to be alone this is one of the things that makes it possible to um, uh, you call it to, to withdraw and go inside to to be uh, perhaps uh, perhaps I would use the 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 phrase to be true to yourself and to really be able to to hear your inner guidance and your inner calls to to growing yeah so thanks a lot that's a very very um, good addition here um Yes, uh, you, you continue to say to connect to your inner wisdom. Yes, and, and to, it's also, it's, it's not only wisdom, I think it's also uh, to connect to, uh, to the inner leader, which for me is always the, the aware eye, you know, that should be the leader of all the parts, in a way. Um, so connecting to the inner wisdom, connecting to the inner leader, um, the inner healer or the in inner navigator. Yes. Inner strength. Yes, thank you. Okay. Um, anybody else wants to say something, ask anything? 
I'll give it a second because sometimes it takes time for people to think and to write. No, I think uh, that's it for today. So it was really, really lovely to be with you. And uh, although we couldn't uh, broadcast on Facebook and uh, YouTube, uh, we did manage to do this and I hope it's recorded. And uh, thank you so much. It was such a pleasure being with you. Next week, um, on Monday, uh, I'm going to have a talk with a very interesting uh, teacher and person, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Van Dyke. Uh, and uh, it's going to be on uh, uh, Monday at 5, because he's in Los Angeles. So, uh, um, and in general, I'm going to start uh, uh, trying to do this uh, in the afternoon because <laughs> this is my my process it makes it more possible for people abroad to join us so um uh hope to see all of you or some of you uh next time next uh monday the 31st of august with jeffrey van dyke at five thank you all